Jim, we're a month into the new season, six games in. Just kind of give us your assessment on how you feel it's gone so far. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. I'm um, really pleased to see where the club's at. I'm really pleased to see the connection between um, the players, the fans, the football club as a whole, uh, the community. Yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with that. Um, we're working every day, so my focus is just always on um, the moment, where we are in the moment, how we keep making the next moment better. Um, so, yeah, I try to keep my focus right there, which is, I think, where it needs to be. Um, the only reason I'm ever looking back is to learn from it and to help us in the next moment, and the next moment is the next match. Uh, but, yeah, I'm pleased. Um, I'm very, very grateful to the players um, and my staff um, for everything they've done so far, everything. Truly, truly appreciative of all the effort, all the fight, um, everything they've done for each other. And I mean all, all of them, staff, players, all of them. Um, and I'm glad to see the fans uh, appreciating that. This Saturday, of course, welcome Halifax to the Crown Hall Arena. How kind of important, we always speak about the importance of the fans, of course, but kind of them giving their support to the players who have been excellent in this first month of the season? They're a massive part. Um, they have been, they will continue to be. Um, I would really appreciate them coming down and appreciating our new team, um, trying to play football the way we are. I'd, I would like as many as possible to come and join what is already there at our games and are beginning to sense um, or, or see and feel some changes that um, feel good to me. Uh, feel good to us all and getting a lot of good feedback in that regard um, so yeah the fans are the fans are as big as the players in terms of how we can help all this be the best it can be so any any current fans remaining strong in their support any new fans joining our support um, to come down and appreciate how hard this group of players are working for the football club um, that, that it's, it's it's really important and it's something we don't underestimate and I'd be really appreciative of, of any help in that regard. Just looking kind of at that game, how's the, the squad shaping up ahead of that given the, the bank holiday weekend just going through fixtures in quick succession? Um, their minds are in a good place I think after a, a good points return and a good couple of performances um, their minds are, are shifting very much in, align, in alignment with my own and, and my staff's that they're, they're learning a lot from the from the two games, from the Bank Holiday period. Um, they're only looking back to learn, which is a good thing. Um, bodies a little bit different. Obviously, you know we've got to recover as quickly as we can. We have to manage our, our small squad. Um, we're a bit short um, across some some key areas, uh, but we know that. So we just can continue to do our best, um, focusing on the next game with what we do have. Um, and with what we do have trying our very very best to give everything to, to get another performance first and foremost and then in the belief that a performance will bring us an outcome and some points that we'd appreciate So one of those one of those squad members Ian Henderson he obviously scored at York on, on Monday his next appearance for the club will be his, his 400th just kind of talk about him as, as someone who you've known for, for many years as a, a teammate and now kind of one of your, one of your squad members. He's the GOAT, <laughs> isn't he? He's the GOAT, it's as simple as. Um, incredible achievement that, knocking on 400 appearances, about to, about to reach that milestone. Truly incredible, um, unbelievable servant and a true friend of mine um, that I'll value for life. Um, Hendo's done so much for me here um, and is doing right now still. Um, Hendo knows myself and Ian, you know, he wouldn't mind me sharing, you know, a chat I had with him um, at the start of this season that I said to, to Ian that I owe him everything for everything he's done for the teams I was in and the great memories we had together. I owe him everything, but I can't give him anything. Um, so yeah, despite what I am, I, I can't give him anything from here on in. Um, he has to compete for a place with everyone else. Um, 
and he's doing that very well. He's, he's got he's got some goals for us already this season. He's fully committed performances. He continues to give everything for us, um, and he's a player in the squad that again I'm, I'm truly appreciative to have him. Um, amazing day for him. Probably even more of an amazing day for his family, and yet another reason for the fans to come down and you know celebrate a milestone for Hendo taking over 400 appearances for the club. It's monumental, really. Another kind of sort of big event that we've got on Saturday is obviously her game two, dedicated fixture, something that we've supported for as a club for the past couple of years now. Um, just kind of give us your your thoughts on on that campaign and why it's so important to not just Rochdale football club but football as a whole. Really important. Um, we all take great pride in what the Lionesses just did. Um, you know they truly united the country, um, which is amazing. Um, any group of people uniting for a good cause is, is incredible and, and this is certainly one. I've got two daughters myself who can't attend enough Rochdale games, they absolutely love them. Um, so yeah, there's, uh, it, it's, a, it's a purpose that you know hits home with me, having, having my daughters um, who are special to me obviously and I think um, the bigger picture of, of young girls and, and ladies having equal rights with the men across all sports um, is, is really important. So that's, that's a, it's a great cause that we take pride in supporting. Um, and as I say, times really well with our ladies team next week um, playing in the FA Cup, which is a big fixture for them and, and something that uh, we're mindful of, truly supportive of and, and hope they do really well.